What's up guys? Welcome back to the Cheesy Desert Cooking Vlog. Today we're making a hearty stick to your ribs beef and barley soup. It's so good that you'll even eat the bones that I used to cook with it. Mmm, fresh. <laughs> Guys, it's a new year and one of my resolutions is to make better quality videos. I've noticed that the big cooking YouTubers have a lot more angles and slow-mo shots of their food. Glaze all the way over. A strip with sooty fingerlings and stunning. Off. So I guess I'll start doing that. For the beef, we're gonna use meat from the rump, which comes from a cow's butt. Hold on, let me try that again. New year, new me. I've trimmed the meat down and removed as much of the fat and connected tissue as possible. First, we need to cut this down to small bite-sized pieces. When it's smaller, it fits in your mouth easier. Plus, I can fit more than one. Shut up! Next, we're going to season our meat with a good amount of salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Then mix it all together and put it on the side while we prep our veggies. Okay, for our veggies, I'm going to use celery, potatoes, jellies, garlic, onion, and carrots. But these aren't regular carrots, these are baby carrots. Now let me tell you a story on why baby carrots. It's 1992 in sunny Arizona. See that handsome young chap? That's me. Who knew that one day this kid would grow up and do great things like make YouTube videos that get tens of tens of views. This ankle biter here, this is my baby sister Tiffany. She's smarter and more successful than me, even though you can't tell from that dope haircut. Fast forward 26 years later, she had a baby of her own and has made me a proud uncle. Over the holidays, I finally got to meet little Olivia for the first time. <laughs> and that's where baby carrots come from. Yeah, I know that was cheesy, but I don't care. You'll see much more of Olivia in the future, just as soon as she can wield a knife. Chop these veggies up using an earthquake. What are you doing? Easy enough, right? Heat up a pot to high and add in some olive pee pee. We're gonna brown our meat. Browning meat is super important for adding depth and flavor when cooking stews, soups, or anything really. Don't worry about overcooking it because it will get fork tender when we slow cook the whole batch. When the meat is browned, remove it from the pot. In the same pot, add in more pee pee. Then throw in your veggies. We're gonna cook it out until the onions are translucent. Now we're gonna add in some tomato paste. You wanna do about half a can. Add the beef back in and give it a quick mix. Now I'm going to add some beer. This is light beer. We don't want to use this. It's dainty, watery, and flavorless. What we need is a tall, dark, robust beer, like this handsome stout. It packs so much big, stiff flavor. <laughs> give it a mix and let it reduce a bit so the alcohol burns off. Now I'm adding some homemade beef stock, which I'll link in the recipe in the top right. Now for seasoning, add in one packet of Knorr beef stock pot. You can also add bouillon cubes. Then lots of pepper, a couple pinches of salt, but don't go crazy because it'll get saltier the longer you cook it. A couple pinches of sugar to balance it out, red chili flake for heat, and some bay leaves for all my single bays. And for my secret ingredient, bone marrow straight from the remaining legs of a handicapped cow. Now bring your pot to a boil, then reduce the heat to low for a nice slow simmer. In the first 30 minutes or so, you're going to want to remove this funky stuff floating at the top of the soup. This is mostly cooked blood, dirt, and veggie semen. Skim it off with a ladle and throw it out, or spread it on toast. Then let it simmer for at least two hours until the meat is tender. In the meantime, I'm going to start on my New Year's resolution to work out more. I'm telling you guys, this is the year that it finally happens, and I'm sticking to it. Gains, bro. So it's been two hours and our soup is basically ready. The last step is to add in one cup of pearl barley. Turn the heat up on medium low and let the barley cook for 20 minutes. This will also thicken up the soup. Once the barley is plump, the soup is done. It should look something like this. And there you have it guys, a hot, savory beef and barley soup. 
the beef was fall apart tender, the veggies were a cornucopia of flavors, and the barley was gnarly. Overall, an absolutely delicious winter snack to keep you warm through those cold, lonely nights. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping. That's it for today, guys. Make sure you look at Sissa. Follow me everywhere at Cheesy Does It Cooking. Guys, for my next video, I think I'm going to show you how to make a homemade pho. This is my very own homemade recipe. Ah! What are you doing? Ah, are you stealing my recipe again? No! No! <laughs> oh. God damn Amazon tripod! Oh, yeah.